Good morning, good morning, good morning, and blessed Thursday morning to you all. It's a frosty, frosty morning up here in the Poconos, but you know, nonetheless, we're going to get up, we're going to get dressed, and we're going to show up. That's all. We got to keep on moving, despite what the weather calls for. We already know that it is winter time, and spring, summer, and fall has passed us by, so now it's time for us to get through the next season of life and this morning that's what i wanted to what i would like to speak to you about is about love you know how we go about loving people even when it's difficult to love others that are difficult people or to love others that don't even care for you they don't even love you or like you what we got to realize is in this life if you are a child of God and you say you are a child of God, that means that you are to love everyone. And if you are a child of God and, far, and the Lord, Savior, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on a cross for us, saved us and for all our sins, he did that for our sins, then we got to learn to love each other despite of. You know, it's, it's so sad how we don't support each other when you know someone has a business venture. We don't support that person business because of whatever we're going through or whatever happened in the past. Or some people don't even want to support you just because of how you look. They don't even know you, you know, and they don't want to give that support and show that love. A lot of people have to know that when you say you are a child of the king, and that's your heavenly father, then we are all brothers and sisters. We are all one. I don't care what race you are, what your skin color is, what your denomination thoughts are. This is you all the way. And you are a child of God, right? And so we all shed blood, the same color blood. It's red. As far as I know, it's red. I don't know nobody else that shed a different color blood. So you are no different than the next person. Yes, you may have more. You may have less. Maybe you dress a certain way. They dress a certain way. Or, you know, they have this and they have that and you have that. It doesn't matter. We're supposed to love our neighbors. It's in scripture. It's in the Holy Bible. We're supposed to love each other. It's one of the fruit of the spirit that is in God's word. But it saddens me that that's not what happens in the world. And I get it. I get it. We are all born into sin, right? And I get it. Everybody's not going to blend. Everybody is not going to like each other. You have family members that can't stand each other. I totally understand that, but we have to get better with our life in this life. You can't continue to live a ratchet life. I remember when I used to go out with my close friend and, you know, she, you know, they would bring, they would bring other people into the group and we don't all gel. We don't all mix, but we all come together for that one person. And that's that friend. But as I started to get to mature, and get older, and I understand that I don't have to put myself in uncomfortable circumstances just to show love to my friend. Me and my friend can do stuff set aside from being with the people that's ratchet and that don't have proper be etiquette and behavior and no class. You know, we don't all have to be together. And that's the thing. I always tell my kids that you don't have to put yourself in a circle that makes you uncomfortable or be around people that makes you uncomfortable. It's the same with social media. You may have had people on your page for years, but something that they're doing and saying and their behaviors and their actions and the things they're posting is not how you flow. It's okay to block, delete and unfollow people. Right. So when we mature in the Lord and we know who we are, we are not going to allow ourselves to be to be uh, subjected to the negativity, the negativity and the bull crap because you don't, you know, but we got to learn to still love people despite of in spite of because that's just how they are. That's where they are. But again, we don't have to deal with them just because somebody is your family member. Like I said, some family members don't get along at all. They can't go to family functions if one person that they don't care for is going to be there because that person don't have any behavior. They just clash. They don't gel. They don't mix. It is your decision, your decision solely to say, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to be around that person. And again, it is okay. It's okay, but we have to 
act accordingly, especially when you are a child of God, especially when you have repented your sin and ask God to forgive you for all the wrong things that you have done. We have to be held accountable for the things we do. And so because I know better, I have to do better. So I try my best not to walk around disliking people. I try my best to love people. People, I can be something as simple as driving in your own personal vehicle at the, the regular speed limit. Or maybe it's a day you feel tired. You don't feel like rushing. You ain't in no hurry. You got time to kill. You just want to take your time and get to your destination safely. You have people that will cut you off. Give you the finger, cussing at you through their rear view mirror. They just agitated and, and pissed off at you. And they don't even know you. That's not love. That's not godly love. But let me tell y'all something that I know is a fact. And nobody can say that this has not happened to them. Where you, throughout your day, you have lashed out at somebody. You said something that was wrong. You have done something that was wrong. You can't tell me that you don't feel it later on when your spirit's quiet down. Or when you're about to go to bed. Or if you probably had a nightmare. It, God, that's God. That is all God. He's going to show us when we're wrong. We're going to have an instant replay of our negative behavior of our day. So me, I tread lightly throughout my day. I try my best. When I tell you I try my best to be on good behavior because I know God's watching and he's listening and I'm going to be held accountable if I act nasty or rude to somebody. I'm telling y'all, especially when us women, we go through PMS and we go through mood swings. We blame it on that, but we got to have self-control. That's in the Bible. You got to have self-control. We can't go around lashing out at people, being upset, acting ratchet, cussing. You know, when I hear people speak and they're having just a simple, a simple conversation, but in the conversation, they have to use profanity. It's, it's despicable. It's like, why are you, why are you cursing? How is that? Why you have to be so descriptive using profanity? There's another way that you can go about expressing yourself or and we're having a conversation and you know, it, it's just a simple conversation. It's not even an argument or a debate or, or they're venting. It's a simple conversation, but some people don't know how to have a simple conversation without using profanity. Everything happens in time. And we have to pray for people like that, not be upset with them, not down them, not judge them, but pray for them to get better. Because guess what? We once was that person. Believe it or not, a lot of things that people do and we judge them for, we were once in that, that their shoes. We probably wasn't as vividly disruptive or, or ratchet as they were. But we did do wrong things in our life that other people probably looked down upon and looked at us like, eee, that's how she talked. That's how she act. It's just not cool. And because we are on a different level, we're in our spiritual um, walk with God and we're closer with God. We have a deeper connection. We know that is wrong. So, of course, we it's going to turn us off. You know, it's going to have you shy away from wanting to be involved in things like that or be around somebody that's like that. Again, you have a choice to disconnect, a choice to say, I'm not going to be in that situation or in that atmosphere or in that environment around these people or those people. You have a choice. And so we don't have to walk around feeling despondent all the time. We don't have to walk around creating a pity party. Nobody wants to come to a pity party, especially when they have their own things going on in life. Nobody wants to be used as a doormat for your problems. You having the same issues over and over and over again. It comes a time where somebody's going to give you tough love. And that tough love is being real. They're being real. And that's what a lot of people don't want. They like they talk about this, this having this realness and being so real and this, that, and the third with being being um being upfront. But when somebody is real and authentic, you gotta be able to take the good and the bad. Because you're not just gonna get the good from me. If something that you're doing and you ask me my opinion, I'm going to give you my opinion. Now that I have surrendered my all, I mean authentically. 
peeled myself back, threw my arms back, bullhorn, boogers running, asked God to forgive me. Rep I repented of my sins. Now that I am walking, walking in my spiritual walk, I am telling you things is so much different when you're looking through your spiritual lens. It's different. It's to the point where I, for, when my eyesight was bad, I, I wear progressive lens, which is where I need them to see and to read. So all of my frames have progressive lens in them. But it came to a point when I went to the eye doctor after I was diagnosed with the um, tumor in my pituitary gland, I, um, they said, oh, your eyesight have gotten better. And I'm like, look at God, look at God. He needs me to see clear. He needs me to see clear of what's ahead and where he's taking me. I'm telling you, God is so merciful. Because I never thought, I thought once your eyes is bad, then that's that. It's bad. You have to rely on the glasses. The whole summer, I wore my sunglasses. I didn't even wear my contact lenses because those were just annoying to me. And I had no, my, my clear contacts, I didn't even have them in my eyes either. My clear or my colored, I should say. I didn't even wear them most of the summer. Most of the summer, I was able to wear my, uh, my sunglasses without contact lenses. Look at God. So God will have us to see clearly when you are, a, when you strongly and so, so, he knows, he knows when you come to him and you're repenting, he knows deep down inside if you're ready. He knows deep down inside if you're really, really giving your all to him. And when you do that, you see things different. You approach things different. You start to think before you speak. Rather than who I was before, I'm just lashing out. Every little thing I'm taking to heart. I'm getting sensitive over this. Things that people may have said and it wasn't towards me, I'm sensitive about it. Why? It has nothing to do with you. Why are you letting that upset your day? It's like, Judith, why? This is the things like I used to really have to ask myself. <laughs> it, it should mean nothing to you. It should hold no weight over your head. Nothing. So why allow yourself to be consumed with the behaviors of other people who don't know better, who's not walking in your walk, who's not where you are today yet? Because trust me, they're going to get there. Keep praying for them to get there. Don't be selfish because you already up here and looking down on them because they down there. Pray for them to be where you are. We got to pull one another up, lift up one another, not you moved up the ladder and somebody else is sitting there it's, and, and, and they need help and you looking down on them. No, it's not just about us. We got to be, we put on this earth, created on this earth to use our gifts to help each other. And so it saddens me. Even when somebody starts something, you get, people get an attitude and get upset without them even knowing. Like you came up with a bit, you had a business venture in mind and they're upset because you started it before them. You didn't know they were gonna start that, but it, even, it doesn't even matter if you did know. Everybody can do the same thing, but we're all putting our twist, a different twist, a different pizzazz in the same thing that we're doing. It will look different. And guess what? We'll still get the support. There's no need to be in competition with nobody. Look at me. I support my sisters who does videos like I do. Their videos may be on the same topic. It may be similar. It may be totally different. But we are grasping different people, different audiences. Do you think I care that I only got two views for one video? I don't have 100K of followers or 50K of followers. No, it doesn't matter to me. Because I'm doing what God said for me to do. I don't know why he wants me to do it, but I'm doing it. Right now, I should be in my car, warming it up, and getting ready to go start my day for work. But because it's, I'm being obedient and the message was in my head to speak about love and not hating on each other, and uplifting and encouraging one another, I had to do this. God will extend your time. That's what I mean with him. If you are doing something that God has put in your spirit to do, he's going to make sure that you, he extends your time. I'm not going to be late for work. Nope. I don't have to rush when I finish the video. Nope. I don't have to rush through the video. Nope. Because God already planned it. He worked it out when he said, no, it's 830 and you have to go and do this video. You can eat after. You can make your hot beverage after. 
but you have to do this video because somebody needs to know that despite what they're going through, despite how the people act that's around them, they don't have to cope with the foolishness. They don't have to put themselves in that circumstance. And whatever it is that they're going through now is not going to be forever. It's for a reason and a season only. It's temporary. You're going to get through it. I'm sitting right before y'all and I got things I go through. I had to get in that shower and while I was in the shower, a burst of energy came over me and I started to praise the Lord and sing. I started to sing to my heavenly father because I know that he's working things out for my good. I know that this is temporarily and I know that whatever I do have, he's going to guide me and, and, and make sure it's stretched. And things will get paid and bills will get paid and things will be worked out and I will have food and I will have the warmth of heat. He's going to make sure that everything works out for my good, not just me, but for us all. So when you know who you are in God and you are a child of the king, a daughter, a son, a brother, a sister, you got to know that you are blessed beyond measures and God is going to work things out. He has already working it out behind the scene. He ain't forget who you are, but he's watching you. Some of us, we extend the blessings, I believe, when we act ratchet because you know better. If you wrong somebody, say I'm sorry or pray about it and ask God to forgive you. You have to do that because it's not nice going around hurting people because you're hurt. It's a despicable, despicable action, despicable behavior, and we shouldn't be doing it. So everybody, just love one another today. Even a perfect stranger, just smile. Just say hi, good morning, how you doing? Even if they're frowning at you, and that's the biggest thing you could do. When somebody giving side eyeing you and giving you attitude, that's the biggest thing you could do to show them that you are a child of God is to smile at them and say, have a blessed day as you walk away. Hello, good morning, how you doing? God is watching. And so we are all being held accountable for the things that we do and the things that we say. So just challenge yourself today to do right. Okay, and always, always, always when you wake up, ask God to guide you through your day. Ask God, Father God, what is it that you want me to accomplish for today? What, what, what is the goal that, that, that we're working on for today? Trust and believe he's going to guide you through it all. So with that being said, I want to say I love you all. I do. I love you all. I thank you for watching and liking my videos. Those of you that do watch it, you know, and even if you watch it and you don't like it or it does, did nothing for you, I still thank you because you even you took the time out of your busy schedule just to click on the video. So I thank you either way, either way. But either way, I'm still being rewarded by God. He's still loving me for me loving on you. So have an already blessed day, everybody.